As you can tell by my clothes, today is not going to be an ordinary gardening video because the weather is shit outside. So now that all my hostas are in, it is time to make garlic water, garlic wash or vampire juice, whichever way you want to uh, call it, to repel slugs and snails. Let's do it. Garlic has a compound in it which is called allicin. And allicin repels as well as kills slugs. And that compound we want to use to, you, to create a completely natural, completely biological repellent for slugs and snails. And aphids and ants and beetles and caterpillars and army worms. It apparently repels a hell of a lot. So what we're going to do now, we're going to create garlic water to make sure that nothing is going to eat my fucking hostas because you know what, after all the work I have put into the bloody things, you know, I don't want them to look the way they looked last year. They were just ravished by them. Anyway, let's make that stuff. That you use two whole garlic bulbs and for two liters of water. But because of the fact that they are rather small, I'm going to use three for two liters of water because I like it potent. That's just the way it is. There is a 10 minute rule when it comes to garlic. So what you should do, if you want to have a strong garlic flavor, you should always take the, each individual clove and crush the clove. The more you crush the clove, the more you injure the cells, the more allicin gets released and the more sulfite compounds are being created, which in turn obviously also give the garlic the flavor. About the 10 minute rule, clearly the 10 minute rule is called 10 minute rule because you actually crush the garlic to release the compounds, blah, 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 blah. And then you let it sit for 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes before the cooking process. That ensures that the enzymes that are being created, that they actually survive the cooking process. Allison will be destroyed by the cooking process, but that doesn't mean that the stuff doesn't work anymore because it's not just up to Allison to repel everything. It's also the enzymes. It's up to you too. Exactly. Up to me as well. My face repels many of things. I'm not going to put the peel in it because I might actually use it for cooking later on as well. But what peel? No, not the peel. When I crush the garlic water, <laughs> because I love garlic in any shape. It's going to be super smelly. I always stink. Knife. Just hit the bowl. And again, you can leave the peel on, I don't, because I'm anal like that. Crush the garlic. God, if you could smell this, this is just... Oh, do that. I've got nothing in my pot yet, because what I'm going to do is like, you know, that 10 minute rule, because obviously I've got a few more to chop. I'm just going to, you know, dump them in the pot. You ain't coming near me with those. Oh, fuckers are flying everywhere. I'm not coming anywhere near you with what? Both hands. With my smelly hands. At least we could trace where I already have been. <laughs> Garlic water in itself doesn't just repel snails and slugs. It repels a shitload of other things. I mean, with aphids and so forth. I'm going to spray the plants as well as the soil. I guess I'm going to try to get into the routine to spray twice a week if there is no, you know, particular heavy rain. If there's heavy rain, then I'm obviously going to have to do it the following day as well. Also, once you actually have created garlic water, you don't use it as is, you dilute it and you can leave it in the fridge and it lasts for about two months. This thing holds two liters, so that's what I'm using. So now we're just bringing this to a little simmer and obviously let it simmer for a little while until it is a cloudy liquid. When it comes to diluting, I got myself one of these. So I'm going to dilute it around about 100 ml for two liters. <coughs> oh. This is brutal. But you know, you know I'm going to taste it, right? Of course I am. So while the stuff is cooling down outside, honestly, take that piece of advice. Do not do this in the house unless you've got the most amazing extract. I could have used the extractor fan, but obviously it would have interfered with the with taping. So this house stinks. We have all the windows open. We're freezing our tits off. The fire is on, but all you can smell garlic. is garlic. And it's getting to the point that it actually it's like, it's burning in my eyes. Anyway, so if you can, either use the extractor fan clearly or do it outside, honestly. You will thank me just for that advice. Barbecue, camping equipment, whatever. Whatever, exactly. Ta-da! There we are. It was sitting outside for, what, like an hour, hour and a half. And now it's... Oh. 
Go. I have to try it. Don't come near me. Oh, you know I would. Anyway. It's actually not too bad. No thanks. To make sure that I have everything squished out of it, I'm going to push down on the garlic that is in there. That stuff has got to go in the fridge and this is prepared. And so yes, and we are done. And that's it for the day. I shall talk to you guys later.